What's good, YouTube? Future22J is coming at you with another video. And y'all, I got a lot of things lined up for the channel. I'm going to try to do more vlogging. I got giveaways coming up. So in order for all of y'all to stay tuned on it, I don't want to hear that you didn't see it on the video. And once I get everything straightened out, I'm going to let you guys know on my Instagram story. Just follow me on Instagram and know when my first giveaway is coming up. So with that out the way, I need to stop putting in for these overseas raffles. Cause bro. Let me tell you a quick story. This shoe here, I put in for this shoe so long ago, I literally forgot that I did it. The site that I typically do raffles on, which is called Foot Patrol, that's the only overseas site that I've ever had any luck on. There are plenty of UK sites that runs raffles on shoes, but the only overseas raffle that I ever hit on was Foot Patrol. Now, this in particular pair, I hit off of size. Now, size is one of the other UK sites that you could do a legit raffle on. It's basically the same as Foot Patrol as I've described to you in previous videos. But size handle things a little different. You know, with Foot Patrol, you put in for your shoe, you pay for it. If you hit, they send you to you. If you miss, they send you a refund. But with size, I hit, they sent the shoe, then they took the money. So I didn't even know, like no email came through, no nothing. They just sent me a shoe. And then once, I guess once it confirmed that it was delivered, then they took my money off my car. So yeah, I think I'm done with overseas raffles, bro. I'm not mad that I hit this, but you know, you would kind of like to know when a hundred and sixty some dollars is about to come out of your account. I don't care how much money you got in there. You still would like to know these type of things. But nonetheless, man, let's get into it. Looking at the box, we have a Nike SB box. Label reads, Nike SB Dunk Low Pro ISO. The colorway is light cognac, light cognac white. This is a size 12 and this is a personal pair. The Nike Dunk Low Pro ISO like Kanye colorway now i'm telling y'all this is the most slept on dunk this year they had a raffle for them i know at least maybe a month and a half ago over in the uk the colorway is clean the material now i'm telling y'all i don't know what is a dunk low iso but whatever ISO is, ISO got some good materials on there. This shoe is absolutely fire. Now, in the comment section below, you guys let me know, do the SB Dunks always come like this? Because if they do, I'm about to start copying more. The only other SB Dunks that I have is the Bar Simpsons and the uh, What the Paws. Now, the What the Paws, it got all kinds of materials across the entire shoe. So you can't really just dictate the quality off of that. The Bar Simpson Dunk, they had some phenomenal leather on there as well. This is my third Nike SB Dunk ever, and this is fire. You know what? Take that back. My fourth SB Dunk, because I forgot I got the What the Paws. I mean, the um, damn, I forgot the name. The Street Hawkers. I got the Street Hawkers as well. And those those also have mixed materials. So I never knew or I wasn't aware of the quality value of a Nike SB. But bro, if SB is coming like this, this leather, this, I'm, man, look, I think I can dig dunks. I ain't gonna even lie. On the $200, yeah. This might be the way for me. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So I'm gonna throw these on the display disc so you guys can get an in-depth 360 view of the shoe. And then we're gonna jump in front of the camera so we can end the video off. So check it out, y'all. Here we have the Nike Dunk Low Pro ISO in a light cognac colorway. I'm just gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I'm kind of upset with my sneaker friends that I've known in the previous year because they never told me that the quality on SBs was this fire, bro. What got me was the colorway initially. That's why I went for them. But, bro, this leather, this leather on these shoes, bro, is immaculate. And I'm not exaggerating at all. Like, is this how SBs, this how SBs come all the time, bro? These are really fire to me because kind of really remind me of the Light Harvest colorway, the women Light Harvest colorway that came out. I, well, there ain't no telling when they came out because it don't drop in every two days. So I'm going to put a picture up on the screen so y'all can see what I mean. But those, those don'ts there was actually quite fire to me. When I saw these and they was already SB with the fat tone, I knew I had to have them. This is like sort of a skin tone khaki. 
it's it's not it's not your typical brown it's not your typical khaki it's just it's right in the middle it's so fire light cognac all over the shoe with our typical white comes with spare laces the spare laces are white also have orange tips they say it's nike sb the leather but i'm telling y'all look at that look at that toe box bro that leather is crazy on this shoe. And this is not a defect. It's just because the shoe is so sensitive on these. It's, man, this is fire, bro. Look, on the insole, we have a, a cognac insole with an orange SB tag on the inside. Now, one thing that I love about SBs, that they actually do better than Jordan Brand. They laces, their laces match their leather so perfectly, bro. Now, a lot of ones, I got a lot of ones. And they typically put the laces of the same primary color on the shoe and they just do not look the same. They don't ever match to me. That's just my personal preference on why I'm starting to like SBs. I'm not sure when the US release date is gonna be, but bro, I'm telling you guys, when they pop up, keep your eye out for them, bro. This shoe is fire, it's amazing, it's neutral, it's clean, it's summer vibes, it's winter vibes, it's, it's an all-around shoe. And I'm definitely glad that I'm able to expand my dunk collection more. If you're new to the channel, I literally just started my dunk collection this year. So a lot of things that I'm picking up, a lot of dunks that I'm picking up is just strictly for me to try to expand my collection, bro. But I'm not going to just buy anything, though. I need to buy what I like. So... I'm going to give you guys one more 360 view of the shoe and then we're going to jump in front of the camera so we can end the video off. So there you have it. That was my 360 view of the Nike SB Dunk Light Cognac. You guys tell me what you think about these. Are they a must cop for you? Are you going to try to go after them when they come out in the States? Or is this just going to be another Nike Dunk that you just go on and just let go by? Let me know in the comment section below. If you look these up on the aftermarket, I'm telling you they're not high. If you one of those people that like to have that one shoe, that one shoe that could complete 65% of your outfits, this is the shoe for you to have, bro. I'm not exaggerating by no means for retail. You can't beat it at all, but... I'm done with them overseas raffles for the year, at least until Chicago ones come out because I'm tired of getting unexpected dubs. You know, I now I know this is crazy. I know this sound crazy, y'all, but I promise you, sneakers out. I hit Jackie Robinsons. I hit the Mason Chateau Road twos. I hit another pair of military blacks. Uh, man, look. But yeah, though, man, like I said, these are a hit. I highly recommend that everybody gets them because if you guys haven't noticed, once a shoe gets on this sneakers app calendar everybody tend to want it all of a sudden oh you guys can get them while they low key save you a couple bucks i promise you you will not regret it if you enjoyed the content please feel free to sub up to the channel also once you sub up please be sure to hit that notification bell so that you can get notified whenever a video is uploaded my name is future 22 js and if you don't know please know that there's no ceiling to your inner potential this was my review of the Nike SB Dunk Low Light Cognac. Like I said earlier, you guys be sure to follow me on Instagram, follow me on Trade Block, so that you guys can get well aware of the giveaways that's about to come up on this channel very, very soon. Follow me on Trade Block because I still need Travis Scott Low Mochas. I still need, um, I still need the Bleach Coral Air Jordan 1 Low OGs. Um, I think those are the only two shoes that have passed that I really, really, really want. Uh, let's get the messaging, let's get the talking so we can get something straightened out. Thank you guys for watching the video, and always remember that your fear ends when your faith begins. Peace.